I'm going to see if I can walk through this entire agency data pipeline process in less than two minutes. So all the tabs that we see open here at the top are different tools that encompass the kind of data pipelining process for a digital agency. So um, we want to end up with a rigorous QC dashboard for each of their agency clients, you know, up to 30, 40, 50 clients with the same dashboard from the same data sources, QC in the same way, so that they can really consistently compare performance across channels and across clients. So that's what we want to end up with. Our database engine is BigQuery, so we can't do any of this without getting all the data that we need to analyze um, into BigQuery and modeled in a consistent way. Um, for modeling, we use a tool called dbt, getdbt.com, which basically if you check out the project on GitHub, we have a bunch of models um, that are just SQL models. You know, So it's a bunch of SQL models that connect to each other written um, using this tool called dbt. Uh, there's another tool called Sinter that runs dbt on the back end. So it kind of kicks off the jobs. Oh man, it's a minute 15. We might have to run three minutes. Um, so this, all this does is Sinter runs the data models so that BigQuery is updated. So it runs every night, refreshes all of our SQL models so that our tables are accurate, and then our dashboards are accurate. Accurate. So how does that raw data get into BigQuery in the first place? So the first way is a tool called Stitch, um, which is our preferred method. It's automated. Um, so we use them to collect, connect HubSpot, Marketo, Salesforce, GA, basically all of these different data sources. Um, it runs on whatever schedule you want it to um, every you know, 30 minutes to 24 hours and keeps your data in BigQuery fresh. So outside of Stitch, let's see how we're doing. Two minutes, 20. Okay, man, we might have to go five minutes here. Um, so outside of Stitch, ADP, the agent data pipeline, is basically just a process um, in Sheets that lets us be super organized about how we're building dashboards and checking that data is correct in them. Um, so the first thing, it, this all starts with the agency has fills out this form for each of their clients. So it tells us all about them, what kind of reports they want, what data sources they use, what their conversion goals are, all this good stuff. This goes into the ADP tracking plan which is more or less like our project management tool for everything. So they fill out the form, um, myself or someone else chunks it into, uh, adds them to the clients list and chunks it into data feeds, um, notes if we need any to add new, any new data sources, chunks it into tasks for the agency to take care of, like giving us auth to stuff. Um, if, you'll, if you look, you can look in here and, and see kind of what the task lists have been in the past, auths, mappings, um, we have them execute a whole mapping process that uh, tells us what source mediums and GA equals which channels, what kind of op source or lead sources in their CRM equal to which channels. That lets us build this whole super sweet funnel from impressions through to revenue, which is really hard to do without being disciplined about how you're organizing data. The meat of running, um, running this process on a week-to-week -week basis is really all just in this ADP sheet. Um, this is where, you know, kind of all the scripts live that let us interact with BigQuery, let us import data from CSVs or APIs. Um, we use supermetrics in this sheet to, to pull data um, from sources that aren't covered by Stitch. Uh, and we push all this data back up to BigQuery. So we, we trigger uploads here. We pull data back from BigQuery to do QC and make sure that it ties out with what we'd expect. Um, so this is kind of like our, our operating center. So it converges on both sides. We have, um, that's really all I have to go through here. Um, obviously we have a lot of details to get into, but we end up with really sexy, well QC'd, um, and consistently designed dashboards, one for each client that they want to set up. We start that with just this onboarding process for new clients and mapping exercise. And then, yeah, every step in the middle is kind of us getting one step closer from just like the wish list of what they have for a new client through to completed reporting.